come on. Come on, come on. If this is a bass, this is a giant. Welcome to another episode of Weird Beard Fishing, y'all. So, finally back out on the boat. A buddy of mine was nice enough to trade me my truck for his Jeep. And, uh, finally able to get back out. Out on Alum Creek. I've heard the fishing's been a little bit tough, but let's see what we can get. Might be a good day. It's a lot cooler today. Alright, guys. So, down here at the marina, one of my favorite spots, it seems like the smallmouth like to school up down here during the summer the biggest smallmouth I've ever actually caught here was in this exact spot the same time of year first time taking this boat out and it was five pounds two ounces that was a pretty pretty uh, good day that was within the first two casts I caught those two fish I'm out here a little late this morning just because I didn't know how, how well the new Jeep would pull the boat and I didn't want to get out here too early and be stuck in the dark if something happened. So we might not get a top water bite seeing as we're out here later, but it's always worth a try. All right guys, so down here at the dam and I went over a, over a little spot that seemed to have quite a few muskies sitting there. At least that's what they look like to me. So I figured uh, I brought my musky rod, why not try? Got my net and everything. I should probably have that ready. Oh, come on, come on, come on. If this is a bass, this is a giant. No way! Come on, bud. A carp that actually ate a Ned Rig. I thought I had a giant smallmouth on. I was excited. Yeah, I mean, look how big that thing is. It's a carp. It's actually a common carp. Yeah. Yeah, it was inside of its mouth. It actually ate it. <laughs> yeah, it did. 
That was a really nice small mouth though. Yeah, if only bass fought as hard as a carp. No, nah, not really. Of course the camera wasn't on. But <laughs> I just set the hook on this fish and reeled him in. And I promise you, he wasn't he wasn't even hooked. He was holding on to the tail like this. And just would not let go. Pulled him all the way up out of the water and into the boat. That's that's actually funny. Shows how aggressive these little guys can be. Good thing I'm not catfishing today because you'd be catfish candy. All right guys, so yesterday didn't go so well, so I figured just come back to the same place, try it for round two. It seems like the fish activity already is a lot better. I'm here earlier. I mean, look at that beautiful sunrise. Been stuff jumping the whole time. Hopefully, get on a top water bite. Let's get out there and see what we get. Really hard to tell out here, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff jumping. But it, to me, it might it looks like it might be old carp. I figure, I mean, I'm, I'm right at the boat dock. I saw everything jumping. I figure I might as well try it for a second. Man, there's all kinds of fish out here. Looks like they're all small though. I wasn't recording, but finally got my first one. Uh -huh. Back to the old spinner bait. It's one thing, man, this thing is beat up. Funny thing is, is my my dad's here at the same lake. He just sent me a picture of a fish about this size about uh, 20 minutes ago. And I was like, hey, where you catch that at? Of course he hasn't replied. Get a little chunk. See, sometimes you just gotta stick to the spinner bait. I should have done that yesterday. It's just stuck to the spinner bait more. See, if I still had the old bass tracker, I'd be able to go back into areas like this. No, I can't with the big bass boat. No, there's no way I could get through that. This, this boat's way too wide to get through that tiny little thing. Tried everything else in the book and ended up going right back to the spinnerbait. He came right up from in that grass. I saw him come up and hit it. Oh, oh, quick release. There you go, bud. He was up in no foot of water right up in that little clear area I didn't get a picture with him I was gonna see him with the dad and be like haha look I'm beating you you know it's funny he just came down through here and fished all this that shows that that fish wasn't gonna hit nothing but a spinnerbait I just have a good feeling that there should be a fish here. Yeah. 
Wait until we're up here. Okay. I can't believe there's nothing back in here. <laughs> 